to be saved. There's hope for you out there. There's hope. There's mercy for you. There's understanding for you. God is not a mean, hateful, spiteful God. He's not a God of condemnation. He's a God of conviction and love. And He'll slowly love you back into the family of God. The rest of the verse says, These have come. Now this is verse 7. These have come so that your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may be proven genuine and may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. So it's saying that your trials, the things that you're going through, that, that, that you're going through them to mature you, to, re, to, to grow you up in Christ. You know, Jesus wants you to depend on Him. You can't do anything by yourself. It takes Jesus to do it through you. And a lot of us are always trying to do it. You know, we, we cast our cares over on God, and then we take it back. We give it to Him, and we take it back. We've got to stop that. Once we cast those cares, leave them there. Once you pray and you did all, you stand and you believe in this word and what God says. And God says that once you go through these trials and the suffering, in the end that you will have the victory and He will have the glory. How are you going to have a testimony if you've never went through anything? How can I relate to people that have been on the street or my husband relate to people. He's an ex-alcoholic. If we hadn't been there, I'm not saying that you can't relate if you've never been an alcoholic or a drug addict. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying it's easier for us to relate because we've been there. We've done that. And that's what all this place is about. It's about loving you where you're at. It's about bringing you Jesus. It's about giving you hope. And not, not asking you a bunch of questions. Not, not you know, uh, pushing you to be a member. Uh, it's about basically us as vessels used by God giving to you. Not taking from you anything. All we want from you is for you to know the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord of your life. Now, if any of you out there are lacking any hope, believe. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe He has your best interest at His heart. And one scripture left. This too will pass, says the Lord. So you're saying, Sister Barbara, that not only these, these trials that we're going through will pass, but God will grow us up in our faith. And of course, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Right. And without that hope, then that's messing up the faith. And he says here that he wants you to mature in your faith. That means more for you to grow in your faith than gold. The world holds gold as something precious, but God holds your faith as something special. So faith in God's eyes is greater than any material value we could ever have in the earth. And hope in Amen. God. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. It's all about Jesus. Well, you know, I, I think it's time that tonight that we... We, we go to the to the heart of Jesus. We not just pray, but, but those at home, if you just repeat after me, if you've got a trial, you know, maybe, maybe you just have been, been, been saved as a child, but it's time to say, hey, Lord, I, I want to get on my knees and I want to commit my life back to you, God. That I want to grow my faith. So tonight, if you will, let's do that, okay? Uh, re just repeat after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Forgive me for my sins. Forgive me. Wash my sins into the sea of forgiveness. Wash my sins in the sea of forgiveness. Cover them with the blood, Lord, the blood, the blood of Jesus. And Lord, receive me back unto you, God. Yes. Thank and Lord, for those that, that have never received you, yes, that Lord, I would like to be saved tonight. Yes, Lord. And Lord, because the Word of God says to confess it with my mouth, yes. and I shall be thank saved. You, Lord, for the so Lord, I just thank, thank you. Father. We give you glory. I Lord. thank you thank for God. renewing my soul, thank you. for renewing my life, yes, Lord. and let me come home where I belong with you, God. We thank and Lord, you, Lord, just just let me be a willing vessel for the kingdom of God. Yes, in Jesus' name, and we everybody pray, pray. says.
Amen and amen. Glory be to God. If you've made that decision tonight and you're looking for, for, for somebody to pray with you, you can call Office Place Ministries at 791-9100. Somebody will be faithful to pray with you. So we want to just tell you tonight that uh, as we prepare to close, we want you to know that Jesus loves you and He's going to that we are in a challenge about our building fund. We have to raise $26,500 by the end of December. So if you have an opportunity or if you would like to take the opportunity to sow a powerful seed, this is a place to sow that seed. God would honor that seed tremendously. Yes, and your gift would be uh, followed by uh, a tax deductible receipt. God bless you. Yes, but I want to tell you about Christmas. Christmas at Office Place is awesome. We have Christmas activities. We uh, we have a children's toy giveaway, but this giveaway will have a service prior to. We, we not only uh, give toys to the children, but we minister Jesus to them. That on Saturday, uh, we feed them, we bless them. You know, kids like a special little lunch with, with fruit punch and pizza or fruit punch and hot dogs. And this year we're going to give them pizza at lunchtime. Then, uh, uh, and then we're going to have a, a special gift for each child. We're going to call their name out. And, and, and honor them for those few minutes and let them know that somebody else loves them, that we even took the trouble to wrap a gift for them and add their own name on it. And so they're called up and they get, uh, besides the toys, they get a fruit bag, they get uh, to go to our used toy corral, pick out what toy they would like. They also will be able to pick up any stuffed animal they would like, you know. So we give them, we give them, bless them tremendously. And, uh, we just let express the love of Jesus to those kids. On the 23rd, we have the adult gift uh, for, the, for the adults. It's hygiene bags and warm winter wear. We need churches and individuals that can help us with that, and also with the kids' toys. But we, uh, on the 24th, Christmas Eve, we go out in the streets, but we have special designated needy families, and we bless them with a box of food for Christmas Day that they would not do without in, in the middle of Christmas. So then then after those, then we have a Christmas Day service. We actually have a full service starting at 12 o'clock Christmas Day. So if you don't have anything to do, if you are if you don't have family in town, come and help us serve. Come and bring a, bring a, a dish. It doesn't matter what. We have a potluck dinner uh, following the service Christmas morning. And uh, so we're just excited about that. We've seen a lot of a lot of souls touched and blessed. So come and join us. Remember, it's 555 East 3rd Street. Now, some of the ministry needs uh, are that we need, and this is Barbara's heart. Barbara loves the children. And we need uh, the toys. We yes. need fruit. And we need batteries. We need all types of batteries, mostly those double A's and triple A's and, and, seeds. and, and some seeds uh, that run most of these toys. And we need paper uh, to wrap the gifts with. So just remember, if you have anything that you can share with us to make this all possible for these children, please do. God bless you, and uh, have a great day in Jesus. I, I want to just uh, tell you, John, that was from 1 to 16, and that we really need some toys. Because we haven't got no toys yet. Okay. So, well, oh. you're, okay, so you're saying you want these gifts from 1 to 16, which I, I apologize I overlooked, but regardless... Uh, we, we do have some teenagers that come in here. Right. We, 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 we've had what, watches in years before. Um, I really, nowadays, the way they get in the fads, I, I would stick with, like, the girls, maybe little, um, you know, body wash and uh, body lotion that smells nice. You know, you can go to the dollar store and, and get stuff or candles for the young girls. Um, the boys... <laughs> I, I don't know. What do you think? So the teenage boys, um, yeah, I'll watch or yeah. something like well, that. Well, they got those. Uh, they got those radios and, and stuff that they can clip on. Oh yeah, they've yeah. got that kind of right. stuff. Get yeah, you stuff. can get it at Dollar General. The right. little clip-on radios. And right. But there's a lot. You just, you just have to give oh. give give it to the Lord. Let mm -hmm. Him show you what to get for these children. Amen. So we just thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. We give God the praise. Amen. You have a great day in the Lord. And good night. Okay.